Hi, I'm Tom Field, Vice President of Editorial with Information Security Media Group. I'm talking about a 12-step process today, and we're at step one, admitting that we have a cybersecurity problem. It's my pleasure to be speaking about this with Phil Reidinger, the CEO of the Global Cyber Alliance. Phil, thanks for joining me today. Thank you, Tom. Glad to be here. Now, we sat here a year ago, soon after you started the Alliance, and you talked about it then as a coalition of the angry. I've seen a lot of anger in the time <laughs> since then, and not just from the coalition. How do you think you have helped put this anger into action in terms of cybersecurity? Well, we've had a lot of really good progress. We've got well over 140 partners now, um, about 20 people, and we're up and running um, with partners in multiple countries around the world. Um, <clears throat> specifically, I think I mentioned last time, we've got very much of a project focus. So um, our mission, if you will, is do something, measure it. So we picked a couple of things to do something about, uh, both related to the risk of phishing, which is one of the biggest that is out there. So we worked in particular on uh, driving global deployment, which is still ongoing, of a global, of an email authentication protocol called DMARC that mm -hmm. I'm happy to talk much more about. And we've worked with a partner called Packet Clearinghouse to build a global DNS infrastructure that blocks access to malicious sites for anybody who uses it. Now, Phil, you blogged very recently. I spoke at the top of this discussion about being in the 12-step program. You blogged about us being at step one, admitting that we have a problem. What's your premise here? It was sort of interesting. I, uh, things are very busy these days around the world and in Washington. Sure. Um, and I didn't have a chance to read the new draft of the cybersecurity executive order from the Trump administration until I was on the plane yesterday morning. Um, and I read it, and it felt to me like some things that I had read before, but not in a bad way, in a good way. Um, some of the themes were very akin to um, key themes you saw out of the Obama administration. And in particular, um, I read the part of the draft executive order on the need to get away from how we have managed IT. And one of my premises is, you know, there are a lot of problems with cybersecurity, but one of the big problems is the problem with IT, that we've handled IT poorly. And before, the Obama administration had said, well, we need to get most government out of agencies out of the business of doing IT. And now the Trump administration is saying the same thing, actually much more directly and in more detail. And I think that's a good thing, that they've, they've come to the realization, both of them, that yeah, we do have a problem, that how we've managed information technology on an agency-by-agency -agency basis and letting everybody fend for themselves it just isn't working. Mm -hmm. Now some other critics have looked at the executive order, both drafts, and have said, they've been a little <coughs> discouraged, saying it's just telling us to go out and study what we already know. You're actually encouraged by it. I am, and I, I think those criticisms have some merit. You know, I read, I think The Guardian called the new executive order bloatware, uh, because it calls for nine reports. Right. I mean, it's a nice line. Um, I laughed when I read it too. Uh, I don't actually think it's fair. Um, and the reason is that, um, I say this as an organization that has said we're never going to do a report and recommendation because there's too much talk and not enough action. But if you're going to move a big government to get things done, often you need to do a 60-day you know, report or something. Everybody has a chance to have their say. And then if that's preparatory to moving out and implementing something, I'm cool with that. Okay. So I, I'm good with nine reports as long as they're agile, quick, and I, I, I think there's some good people who are going to be involved. Now, you've said before, as recently as last summer, that we're in the cybersecurity bronze age. Anything happening that encourages you that maybe we're advancing? Well, I mean, I think you know, we're, we're, we're learning how to carve tools out of stone. Um, I, you know, bronze may be a little bit too far. I've, the more I think about it, I think stone age may be a, a better terminology. You know, we're only dreaming about the iron age yeah. um, right now. The, there's progress that's being made, but we're still, you know, it, every week, we're still farther behind the bad guys. And you see it, you know, the, <clears throat> the big thing that's happened in the, since the last time we talked at RSA is the skyrocketing of ransomware. Sure. Um, and you know, I was, it, ransomware is just one thing that is really part of a bigger thing. And the bigger thing is cyber extortion. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason we've got cyber extortion is widespread vulnerability and um, an anonymization and anonymous payment channel that has now created. Mm -hmm. So we've, and with the, you know, the expansion of everybody using this infrastructure, we've really got an environment that is built for extortion. 
Um, that's, the, that's probably been the biggest trend of the last year. Now, when you started the Cyber Alliance, the real goal was measure systemic risk. Are we better at that today than we were when you started? Well, we're focusing to start with on measuring risk around the particular projects that we are undertaking. So um, with DMARC, we're working hard to be able to measure what the reduction in risk is from the deployment of DMARC. With DNS, measure how effective the infrastructure is. And we're making good progress in each of those spaces. The broader question is still the broader question. We have not put um, as much effort as I would like yet into that mm -hmm. because to be frank, the, the do something part and the measure it for the particular do somethings is taking up more of our time um, than the global measure it part. But I think, I think globally we are, we're working with partners like Cyber Green, which is another nonprofit that have that as their core mission space. So the ball's moving, it's just, you know, with all deliberate speed. Yeah. A year into this, what would you say have been your major miles, milestones so far? I think the biggest milestones that we've had are developing and deploying the DMARC wizard that's got a conversion rate. So about of the people who stick a domain in to try whether they can deploy this technology, we actually get about 20% of them who do change and deploy the technology, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, and we're getting really good feedback on the DNS infrastructure we've built with another nonprofit called the Placking Clearinghouse about how effective it is. So mm -hmm. getting those out there, getting them deployed, so people use them, that's the milestone that we care about. Okay. What are your current initiatives that you're excited about? Well, we'll start working on those two, and uh, it'll be a while before um, we're able to close any significant part of those out. Um, we've got, we're looking at a number of different ones for the coming year, including one around identity, something around the Internet of Things. Um, we're looking at a specific project around ransomware, along with a couple of smaller things. Um, we're going through the process with our um, with our members and our uh, leaders to figure out what's the, what's the best place to put our next set of calories. Yeah. Do you find yourself saying less now, hey, I've been in this meeting before? Um, I try not to go to those meetings um, because if you, if you stay away from sort of policy discussions, you mostly haven't been in the meeting before. Correct. I, I think if I, if I went to meetings, I would have mostly been in them before. That's, I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. I'm sorry. Yeah. Phil, always a pleasure to catch up with you. Thanks for your time and your insight. Tom, thank you very much. Been talking with Phil Reidinger, the CEO of the Global Cyber Alliance. For Information Security Media Group, I'm Tom Field. Thank you very much.